Tonight, the Second Harvest Food Bank hosted its second annual Empty Bowl event. It's a night where the community comes together to support the food bank, enjoy a good meal, and remember to help fill up those empty bowls in our community. Now, Marissa Thomas was at the Second Harvest Food Bank event for that event tonight, so good evening, Marissa. Good evening, Mike and Emily. As a part of the event, those who came to support got to take home a handmade bowl donated by organizations within the community. These bowls serve as a reminder to help those in need with food insecurity. A meal of bread and soup, giving a chance for community connection while also helping to fill empty bowls in our community. And it's meant to be reminiscent of our neighbors who are often have empty bowls. So it's important for people to understand that it, we have an obligation to help those who are in need of food. Really? In our region, more than 80,000 people my grandma. are food insecure and 20,000 of them are children. How do you CEO say it? of Second Harvest, Karen Seggi, says this event say in feeding the community is a group effort. Organi we couldn't do it alone. We're really the community's food bank, <laughs> and we rely on the community to help us reach our neighbors who are in need of food. So, you know, this really isn't just something the Second Harvest is doing. This is something that we're doing as a community to make sure that we're helping our neighbors. Sharon Warshaw was invited by friends and says the event led her to talk to new people and engage in the community. I personally heard of different empty bowl programs in different cities, um, specifically in Tennessee. And it's always been something that I've been interested in trying. And um, it's always a meal, right? Like, I mean, who doesn't love a good meal? Met the nice folks across from us just sitting down. It's a community table here, so it's community conversation. We're literally sharing a meal together. Already, Warshaw is looking forward to the next empty bowl event. I would love to come back next year. Um, I think the Second Harvest Food Bank does a tremendous job in the community. I think every time we volunteer here, it's just a little bit um, touching to see how big the need is and to be able to come and participate is really meaningful. Erie News Now is a proud sponsor of the event and Erie News Now holiday food drive that benefits Second Harvest Food Bank takes place on November 15th. Live in the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.